This is the tragic fall of Loris Karius, the goalkeeper known for his terrible performance in the 2018 Champions League final. His first mistake of the night was a throw right to the feet of Karim Benzema to put Real Madrid 1-0 up. Next, Bale hit a strike that went through the hands of Karius to seal the game for Los Blancos. You could quite clearly see after the match that he was absolutely devastated and truly sorry to all the fans. Later that night, Karius became a meme and was humiliated by the press. The 25-year-old keeper also confirmed that he received death threats and abuse towards himself and his family due to the mistakes he made that night. The immense pressure and the magnitude of the stage led to one of the worst goalkeeping performances ever seen. Consequently, these distressing events caused him to spiral into a deep state of depression and anxiety. It was clear that the scars of the night were so overwhelming that he could never fully recover to be the same goalkeeper again. Five days after the match to forget, it was discovered that Loris Karius had suffered a concussion early on in the final, which explained the terrible performance. After all, Karius had been a solid goalkeeper all his career. He was once labelled the next Manuel Neuer and played a massive part in getting Liverpool to the final in the first place. But as goalkeepers know, people only focus on your mistakes. You could make 99 brilliant saves, but the one you can see is the one people talk about. Eager to move on, Liverpool brought in a new goalkeeper in Alisson and Karius quickly found his place on the bench, his confidence at an all-time low. To put it nicely, nobody wanted Karius anymore. He was sent on loan to a mid-table Turkish side, Besiktas, the only team that would take him. Looking back at it, Karius did a decent job in Turkey. He made 35 appearances to help the club achieve a third place league finish. Unfortunately, Karius found himself in the negative public eye again for making bizarre errors in the Europa League. Bad luck seemed to follow Karius everywhere he went and would continue to do so as we'll find out throughout the video. In March 2020, Karius was openly criticised by the Besiktas manager Chanel Gunesh, a former goalkeeper himself, and Karius even took legal action against the club over allegations of not being paid four months worth of wages and in May, Karius terminated his contract with the Super League club due to ongoing issues regarding unpaid wages and conflict with club staff. In a goodbye message to the fans, Karius stated, It is important to me that you know I really enjoyed playing for this club a lot. Besiktas can be proud having such passionate fans behind them always, giving amazing support. You always supported me in good and bad times and I will always remember you in the best way. Also, I want to say thank you to all my teammates, coaching staff, including all people working for the club. You welcomed me with arms wide open from day one. Karius returned to Liverpool, who were thriving with Alisson in goal, but with Adrian nailed on as the Reds' number two and young prodigy Keevan Kelleher emerging, he was informed by Jurgen Klopp there was no chance of first team action. Again, nobody wanted to take a risk buying Karius, but towards the end of the summer transfer window, loan interest came from his home country of Germany where Union Berlin brought him in on a loan deal with an option to buy. Eager to start fresh and put everything behind him, he was unimpressive in training and was dropped to the bench. Off the pitch, Karius was constantly criticised for modelling on social media and posting stories of himself sitting at home. It was clear Karius was no longer enjoying football, something to which he had even admitted himself. That season ended with Karius going back to Liverpool, having made just five appearances out on loan. Unfortunately, that was the last straw and after the two miserable loan spells in Turkey and Germany, Karius was forced to remain the fifth choice Liverpool goalkeeper behind Alisson, Kevin Kelleher, Adrian and 19 year old Marcelo Pitaluga. The scars of the Champions League final still having an effect. With no appearances in four years and no prospect of all that changing, Karius still determined
determined to improve underwent an impressive physical transformation. Training footage shows the fast reflexes and sheer talent he has in his locker. Confidence is so important as a goalkeeper and getting it back isn't as easy as for players in other positions. Sadly, it was confirmed in June 2022 that Karius would leave Liverpool when his contract expired at the end of the month. Guys, I'd just like to pause to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel as we are so close to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you. In September 2022, it was Newcastle United who signed the free agent on a one-year deal. While football fans were confused by the news, Karius and Newcastle's visions aligned with the two looking to qualify for European football and Karius having the profile and experience of those big games. Looking at training footage, it is clear that Karius has found the right home to settle in and is fortunately enjoying his football again. He spent the first half of the season as backup to Nick Pope, with Martin Dubravka out on loan to Manchester United. It was unlikely that Karius would ever make an appearance for the club. His team Newcastle enjoyed an amazing season, sitting high up the table and making it all the way to the League Cup final. However, Newcastle United had a problem. In the fixture before the cup final, number one goalkeeper Nick Pope received a red card. His backup Martin Dubravka was cup tied, so it would be Loris Karius who would be Newcastle's goalie for the cup final against Manchester United. The match would be Karius's first in two years and his first major game since that fateful Champions League final in 2018. Karius knew he still had plenty to offer. Just before kickoff, before the ball was even kicked, Karius was already getting stick off social media for looking slightly shaky in the warm up, wearing unusual goalkeeping gloves, and the photo of him crying in Kiev was planted everywhere. Fans feared that Karius would have a similar performance to that one night. The game finished with Manchester United winning 2-0. Despite the result, Karius was praised for his performance, making eight saves during the match. At the end of the 2022-23 season, Newcastle United announced they had signed a new deal to keep Karius at the club for another season, which makes me believe he can achieve more things at the club. It is hard to predict the future for Loris Karius, but with Newcastle United back in the Champions League, we can only hope he shakes off the narrative of what happened in Kiev and can redeem the downfall he's had. YouTube has recommended the specific video on your screen just for you, so click it now as you are guaranteed to enjoy it.